My third waiver priority is Mike Boone. The Booner. <laughs> if you remember a few years ago, Mike Boone was getting a lot of work for the Minnesota Vikings uh, at the end of the season. So I believe this was the 2019 season where uh, Alexander Madison and Dalvin Cook were hurt. And in week 15, Mike Boone got 30% of the snaps. He had 13 carries and he finished with 17 fantasy points in full PPR because he scored two touchdowns. He's, he was in an offense that could score a lot. Then there was a lot of hype we, leading into week 16, and a lot of people put a lot of fab, a lot of fantasy managers put fab on Mike Boone to face off against the Green Bay Packers. If you remember in 2019, the Green Bay Packers are one of the worst run defenses in the NFL. Mike Boone ended up getting hurt part of the way through. Only 37% of the snaps, 11 carries, five routes, ended with four fantasy points. He destroyed some fantasy teams, hopes and dreams, despite the fab that uh, fantasy managers had to put up to get him in that week 16, 2019 matchup. And then he was healthy, mostly in week 17 against Chicago. 17 carries, ran seven routes, caught two passes, had 160 total yards, one touchdown. He was the running back seven in week 17 when it helped nobody. Mike Boone helped nobody in week 17 of the 2019 season. All of this is to say it's all about opportunity. And Mike Boone has the speculative possibility of being the majority opportunity share player in the Denver Broncos backfield. Is it most likely Melvin Gordon back there? Yes. But Mike Boone, at least we've seen what he can do with opportunity back in 2019. Now in 2020 and 2021, not so good. He didn't get a lot of play. Like he played eight games in 2021. He played, did play in 16 games in 2022, but his maximum snap share was 16%. And that was week 17. Before that, he didn't get into double digit snaps in 2020. And then 2021, he played eight games, um, only eclipsing double digit snaps, one double digit snap share once. So we get into 2022. I mean, week three, when Javante was healthy and Melvin Gordon was healthy, Mike Boone already 15% snap share. Now that Javante is out for the year, Melvin Gordon has the serious fumbling issues. He has four lost fumbles on the season. Mike Boone played 31% of snaps. He caught a pass. He had 29 total yards. He's running back 52, whatever. This is a... We don't know what's going to happen with the Denver backfield, but we know if one player gets the full complement or at least the majority of snaps and carries and targets, this is a player who could finish as a top 12 running back just based on opportunity. I'm not saying Mike Boone has the skill to be that. Like he's not skilled. He does. He's not. He was the third string running back for a reason. But Melvin Gordon's has issues and John Vontae's out for the year. Mike Boone is my third waiver priority going into week five.